What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. In the 13w37 snapshot, Mojang added the slash Telro command to make players able to toggle some redstone um, just by clicking on a command. And I thought this would be a really great method for having an instant remote shop. So I just went over and created one. And this is the one that I came up with, with one platform for uh, every player that's playing the map. But the offside was that, that every player would had to have an ID. And so I thought that this would be the only way to give every player an ID and then test it for every player. But then I showed Johnny this whole thing and what he did is Oh, I think it's way it's possible to you know, do this way more easier and then he just sat down and created this okay he actually just created this one and he only just needed five minutes and I needed a whole day to create this and now I feel very bad but yeah I now just want to show you how this shop works and what it does and this is actually a shop that I'm using in one of my maps upcoming maps together with Richard of Dead and Johnny and I'm just going to cover the skills that are not spoiling too much okay so the first one is the butcher blade you see um, it costs 20 coins and it removes the coins from my scoreboard and then it gives me the butcher blade this is really good it's nearly instant uh, the second one is the team buff which just gives my team a trenched buff. I actually disabled the particles because of the night vision. And then the next one is the XP boost. See it just... Okay, you can't see it, but it gives me 10 levels. This is pretty cool. And it also reduces my score by 25. Then there is the bunny mode, which is not spoiling too much. Gives you jump boost 10 for 10 seconds. Yes, that's what it does. And you may have noticed if I hover over these um, shop items, I can basically see what I get. For example, it gives your team a strength buff for 10 seconds. Here I see the description of the butcher blade. And here I see the XP boost, the bunny mode and so on. And yeah, that's about the shop. I'm going to explain how it works later. Then the next thing is the night vision mode, which I can toggle just by clicking and it does not reduce my coins once it's toggled off, but it removes some of my coins if it's activated. Two coins per five seconds. And so this is like add some strategy to the game if you uh, want to have night vision it costs you points and you cannot purchase other things like the team bar for example and yeah I think I think this is pretty good for the strategy aspect of the game and then I'm going to explain how it works first to the shop to make this clear um, as I already said the concept of this was totally made by Johnny and I just um, made it fit to the things that I wanted to have and thank you again Johnny and so what we have here is everything for the shop okay nearly everything not really everything but nearly everything this is the one that actually um, uh, notices if you click one of these uh, one of these shop items so let's just I'll, I'll just show you with the butcher blade what it does um, this uses the principle of uh, the updating so it does it in every it does the whole thing in the same tick one after another first this then this then this and this yeah and what I had a problem before uh, I actually had a redstone laying here and here was no redstone but there was some redstone here then it didn't work anymore because these two redstone um, wires were powering this command blocks and so and it couldn't recognize what to do 
so it just didn't work this way so only one redstone should power one command block at a time and what it does first it tells you that you have purchased a butcher blade if you have at least 20 coins and a score of shop to three um i'll just show that if you click butcher blade it sets your shop score to three so if you have the shop score of three it tells you you have purchased a butcher blade then the next thing it does um, it gives you the item if you have enough coins and the shop as obviously it does and then if you don't have enough so if you have a maximum of 19 coins it tells you that you don't have enough coins using the Talro command and it does this at the same tick but because it can't you can't have more and less than 90 coins at the same moment um, it's never going to display both then the next thing is uh, that it removes you um, the 20 coins if you have at least 20 coins and then it sets your shop score to zero because it's done with all of this so I did this for everything uh, for the XP boost too it tells you you have an XP boost it gives you the levels or it says you don't have enough coins and so on then it removes the coins and that's just how this works this I thought it would be the best possible but then Johnny came and just bursted my bubble okay so the next thing that we have is the night vision mode um, yeah you see it popped, it popped up right I set it and it's, it's actually stopped I'm taking the coins from me, but if I activate it, it's going to come again after some time. Okay, so what you do is once you click on the toggle night vision button, it sets your score of toggle vision to one, and um, it basically just sets the score. Okay, okay. Let me just first things first. This is just a clock which does everything for the toggle vision. Um, this gives everybody um, the effect of the night vision for a very long time so it doesn't blink if he has a score of vision at least to one. So if his vision score is one. And if he has less coins than zero or less coins than one actually it sets his vision sc vision score to zero so uh, he doesn't get any more night vision because if you run out of coins you won't be supplied from uh, night vision anymore obviously and yeah it just toggles it off then it just removes you with the one coin and on the other side this is the toggle thing um, what it does here, it looks for everybody who has toggle vision at at one, and has exactly one. And then, if you have the score of vision at one, so if you already have night vision, it sets your toggle vision to two. Then uh, it said then for everybody who has toggle vision at two, and has score of vision to one, obviously, um, it okay, it removes. It removes uh, the night vision effect, and after that, it uh, sets the vision to zero. So, and then it sets toggle vision to zero again. So, this setting the toggle vision to two um, uh, is just good. So, the command blocks know if this command block actually processed your toggle vision thing, and you see this delay just. Um, it's good that the command blocks don't do not act at the same time and if this one sets the toggle vision for two because um, it thinks that you already have night vision and um, this one activates it for you again so these do not act against each other because of this delay so first it looks if you already have it and removes it and then uh, it and this one just tries to add it to you. And that's all about the...
the night vision mode. Um, I'll just show you what happens if I run out of coins. Let me just set it to three, two. And you see, with every tick, it gets reduced. Then it just set my night vision to zero, I guess. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, after a small change, this works too. Um, I just gave myself some coins and set it, um, toggled my night vision mode so it's on. And once I run out of coins, it deactivates my night vision. Um, what it does here now, it first removes the coins, then for everybody who has um, zero coins, but night vision on, it first removes the effect and then it removes the vision. So I'm in the scoreboard. And I think this is pretty cool and you, you just can't try to reactivate again because you have zero coins. But if I give myself some coins again, it will be working like a charm. And so that's about it for my first video, what I did with the slash tell raw command. First this huge thing, then the improved by Johnny and then my own night vision mode toggle system and yeah this is just which tells you um, which tells you this this is a very long clock and it tells you every I don't know 20 seconds click here to buy extra skills and so on and if this is toggled um, it tells you um, this long thing um, I'm going to if, if you want I'm going to give you a um, in-depth introduction on how to use Telraw because luckily I just learned JSON, the JSON format um, when the new snapshots came out so custom MBT data and this uh, Telraw command is no problem for me and I can teach you if you want just write in the comments if you want to have uh, an introduction to the slash Telraw command so that's about it for this video thanks for watching